An announcement set for later today to showcase LeBron James this year's NBA MVP. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. James will become the second youngest player to ever win the NBA's MVP. Wes Unseld in 1969 was the youngest to ever do so. Let's bring in our CBSSports.com NBA columnist Ken Berger en route to Boston for game one of the Celtics and the Magic to, to break this all down. And Ken, when you talk about LeBron James in historical perspective, where does this rank? Well, this is pretty special. I mean, he has uh, he has his current um, you know closest competitor in terms of individual talent, Kobe Bryant, uh, beat by a, uh, by a lot. Kobe won his first MVP last year. Michael Jordan won his first in his fourth season. The other litmus test, obviously, for great players is winning championships, and LeBron has a chance this year to eclipse uh, to eclipse uh, Michael in that respect. Michael won his uh, first title in his seventh season, and this is LeBron's sixth. But You know, this is, you know, he's well on his way. I mean, there's no surprise that he won it this year. It's no surprise that he won it this soon. He's well on his way to etching his face into the, you know, the basketball of Mount Rushmore. And, you know, there's probably many more of these to come. Ken, when you talk about the other competitors for the award, Kobe Bryant, of course, Dwayne Wade, uh, Dwight Howard, maybe even Chauncey Billis with what he did in Denver. Was this the most deserving player? I, I believe so. I mean, there's a lot of those guys that you mentioned and others like Chris Paul and Dwight Howard have a pretty good case. But, you know, The All-Star team and the the All-NBA team, those are for, you know, the great players. This is for the best player, and it usually is the best player on the best team, and that looks like it's Cleveland right now, and that's yet to be determined uh, throughout the playoffs. But LeBron had the best year. He was dominant. His team was dominant as a result, and that's the guy that gets the MVP in my mind. When you talk about what LeBron does for his team compared to what Kobe does for his team, Dwayne Wade for his, what is it about the King James and what he does? Well, he, he's, first of all, physically, he's 6'9", you know, 260 at least. At one point this year, he said he had to stop working out because he was afraid he was going to, you know, get up to 300 pounds. I mean, he's, he's, his physical prowess is, is really unmatched for a, for a player of, of his size and who plays that position. Um, he's really refined his, his perimeter game this year. He's, he's shot the ball much better, much more consistently. And the biggest leap in his game which a lot of players don't make until much later in their careers when they can't rely on offense anymore, is on the defensive end. He really has become an outstanding defender, both a help defender and a difficult guy to get past uh, when he's on the ball. So, um, you know, all those things taken into account, he has really, um, you know, he has really worked and gotten his game to a level that um, really very few players at this young stage in their career can say they were at. Ken, you brought up Michael Jordan to start this, and obviously to, to get to Jordan you have to win titles and you have to win MVPs and finals MVPs, and to get to two, you and three, you have to start with one. But because he's 24 years old, where, where do you see this going? Where do you see this ever ending? Well, that's, that's the, the fun part of it. We get to see it unfold from here. I mean, you know, one, at one point during the season when I was – Uh, around the Lakers, I asked Phil Jackson a question about, you know, comparing LeBron to Michael and what does he have to do and et cetera. You know, and Phil in his gravelly, you know, grouchy voice said, well, you know, six championships with, and ten scoring titles would be a start. <laughs> you know, so uh, he has a long way to go, and, um, and that's going to be the fun part to see how far he can get. This doesn't validate, though, because he needs an NBA title to do that, at least one, if not three, four, five, to validate that. Would you agree on that? Absolutely. No, no question. I mean, if you want to be the best, uh, you have to beat the best, and you have to do, uh, you have to accomplish what your, your predecessors have accomplished or more. And that's, you know, that winning is the key measuring stick in basketball. And, you know, that's why Bill Russell is who he is and is the greatest winner in the history of the sport. And that's why Michael Jordan has set the bar as high as he has. Well, maybe uh, Zeljunas Elgowskis can help LeBron James like Horace Grant and then Scottie Pippen did for Michael Jordan. Ken Berger, thank you very much, sir. We'll talk to you soon. All right, Jason. All right, folks, for more on LeBron James taking home his first MVP honor, be sure to stay with CBSSports.com. For Ken Berger, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.